So I was going to start off this video with a call for adoption from anyone who's living in Donald Trump's America, because while I love Canada, sometimes I'm just a little embarrassed to be Canadian. Why? No, it's not when our boys are on the rink or when you're putting that maple syrup on top of your pancakes. It's when Justin Trudeau, our feminist prime minister, is doing anything on the international stage. When I feel the whole world's eyes are on him. And then all of a sudden, like the emperor who had no clothes, we are totally revealed as having this prime minister who is perfectly ill-equipped to roll with the big boys. Okay, so first things first, America, I wanna remind you how very blessed you are. This was a killer week for your president. Did his very first ever overseas tours. And what does he do? He puts the Saudis in their place. You wanna do business? No problem, boys. My wife's not wearing a hijab and you guys need to root out terrorism. A little bit different than Obama's legacy of apologizing for basically American foreign policy. Then he heads over to the Vatican and he's like, hey, Pope, I know we haven't gotten along, but let's take some photos. And my wife and daughter look great here. Awesome. Then he goes to Israel and does something that no president ever has. He goes and actually prays by the Wailing Wall. It's amazing. It's a huge sign of, 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 of just solidarity with Israel as opposed to the radical jihadists who actually basically occupy the Holy of Holies right now. So, so that was just all fantastic. And, and then all of a sudden he gets to the NATO summit and as if he hadn't already had a killer enough week. He just side shoves the prime minister of Montenegro, which makes a whole bunch of headlines because Trump is just doing his usual alpha business. Only 23 out of the 28 NATO nations spend their fair share on military. It's 2% of GDP spending. That was the promise to get into NATO. Most of them don't do that. And Donald J. Trump called them out. It was beautiful. He also called them out on illegal migration coming into all of their countries, something that he's well positioned to talk about considering the fact that illegal migration plummeted ever since he was elected. You know, for a guy who everyone thought was gonna be the domestic policy president, Trump has become the foreign policy president. It's where he shines 100%. Our boy over here in the great white north not so much. Nice when he's talking about middle class to, frankly, the horny housewives in this country. But as soon as he has to start sitting at the big boys table, everything crumbles. Okay, so I just wanted to share with you um, the three top headlines that came out of um, the NATO summit as they pertain to Le Dauphin Jr., Justin Trudeau, a.k.a. G GQ model, camp counselor, bouncer, drama teacher. All right, so for the very first piece of groundbreaking news, global leaders admire Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's NATO socks at summit. No, that's not just some weird hoser slang where socks doesn't mean just socks. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau literally used the audience of world leaders to show off his pink NATO socks. Of course, they'd be pink because he's a feminist. Okay, and how does the Huffington Post cover it? Basically, like everyone else, Justin Trudeau was continuing to knock our socks off. <laughs> it's not funny, okay? It's not interesting. It's not what these junkets are for. Mr. Prime Minister, could you actually achieve something there? Oh, Justin Trudeau has got his socks game on. Hashtag adorbs. It's not adorbs, okay? It's, it's frankly juvenile. And it's not what world leaders do. Is, is Merkel going to go around, I don't know, showing off her bra strap color? No, because it's inappropriate. Second headline. Trump ignores Trudeau's everybody wave request during awkward NATO photo. So they just finished up a a memorial service where they're commemorating things like 9-11 and, and Trump and Merkel are talking about the recent Manchester ISIS attack that claimed some 22 lives, including women and children. And, and so it's, it's after all that and they get together and, and rather than being okay with the fact that maybe this is a somber moment and everyone can just have a moment to themselves in front of the cameras, no, our celebrity prime minister gets so excited by the paparazzi around him that he goes, everybody wave. Thank God Donald J. Trump had the presence of mind to think that this is really ridiculous and I'm not gonna listen to Junior. Okay, and finally, the very third headline. And this is a bit of inside baseball, but you can actually appreciate this. Trudeau suggests defense review will invest more in troops than weaponry. So caveat, 
we've got a white paper going on. It's basically a review of how crumbled and and just hollowed out our defenses. I had someone ask me the other day, does, does, does Canada have a military? You're damn right we've got a military. It's just anemic right now because this liberal, liberal government is not investing it. So we're, we're having this white paper. And of course, we're not going to actually produce the white paper before going to NATO because it would just reveal how inept our, our military is and how, how, frankly, out of touch and out of date they are. So what does Trudeau say? Well, guess what? The defense review, it's going to focus on our troops as opposed to our weaponry. Because apparently, Justin Trudeau's plan for the Canadian military is that we're going to be judo chopping ISIS. We kind of need weapons, boss. Donald Trump, every time he leaves home, he calls out the world leaders for the sham con artists that they are and for all of their bull that they are now bestowing on their peoples. I'm just sad to admit that our prime minister is part of the problem. For the rebel.media, I'm Faith Goldie. If you enjoyed this video, click below, hit like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.